a doubt, one of the most popular questions that we get asked at Crema is how can I make a quality espresso shot at home without having to fork out the money to buy a coffee machine? Today, we're talking about our number one solution to that question, and that is the Flare Espresso Maker. We're gonna show you just how easy this guy pops together, how awesome it is for coffee making on the go, but most importantly, how delicious that end result can be. So let's jump into it. The Flare Espresso Maker has been on our radars for a few years now, and in just that short space of time, it's gained itself a reputation of both quality and consistency in extracting espresso. The completely manual lever press is capable of brewing up to nine bars of pressure, which is on par with that of a cafe quality espresso machine. This pressure paired with the right age of fresh, good quality coffee beans enables you to produce full flavored, full bodied and creamy crema topped espresso at home or even on the go. So let's break down its design. All of the flares come in a sleek, modern design that was constructed for durability and reliability, made with premium aluminium and stainless steel parts. You have an oval shaped base that simply connects to the arm and the lever like so. And then you have a brewing head, which consists of a porta filter, a shower screen, a brewing chamber, and a piston. Now, when flares were first released, the shower screen looked like this. However, Flare have stepped it up a notch and now comes included with a complete stainless steel shower screen. If you own a Flare that does predate this change, fear not, you can find them for sale on our website on their own. Next up, you'll also receive a stainless steel tamper for optimal grind compression, and you also get your measuring cup and funnel, and it all comes in its very own cute portable carry case. Now, being that it's a manual brewer, it doesn't require any electricity. So this all makes it the perfect portable espresso coffee maker for all of our travelers out there, whether it be for business or for pleasure. You will find on our website, a link for which you will find in the description below, that Flare produce a full range. You have the classic, the signature, and now the pro too each with their own unique features and extras, such as sleek and sexy colors, but there's also a highly anticipated pressure gauge, giving those of you with the interest of tweaking your espresso extractions even more awareness of your elements and therefore more control over them. How about we pull a shot? So first thing we wanna do is we wanna preheat our brewing chamber. This ensures that when we add our brewing water in a moment's time, it isn't cooled down by the chamber, which will affect the flavor of your espresso. If you are using the classic or the signature flare like I am today, we would suggest inserting the piston until the O-ring seals. Then you would turn it upside down to fill with the pre-boiled water. If you're working with a pro model, however, they come with a really cool preheating and tamping cap that you simply attach to the base of the brewer and then you fill with your water. If you are working with the pressure gauge, you will note that it has a stainless steel plunger, which you want to be attached and at the top of your brewing chamber before you begin the pre-warming. While our brewing chamber is warming, we're gonna set it aside so we can get our other elements ready. So speaking of the brewing water, we ideally want to be using a water temperature of between 92 and 94 degrees Celsius. If you try and use water that's freshly boiled, you're gonna be at risk of burning your coffee, which will naturally progress through to the flavor of your shot, and that's not what we want. A fantastic accessory to invest in if you are an avid alternate brewer is a temperature-controlled kettle. As the name would imply, they have the ability to be able to set to a specific temperature, and then it can hold it there until you're ready to use it. Moving on to our coffee, and we're going to be using one of Crema's own house blends, Kingdom Road. With its gentle acidity and a full creamy body, it will work perfectly for this method. Now, as with most brewing methods, we recommend that you use freshly roasted coffee beans. This should result in a delicious golden crema, anything older than six weeks, and we're really not gonna see that crema come through. So make sure you use freshly roasted beans. Now moving on to grinding that coffee, as always fresh is best as well. At Crema, we can never recommend enough the value of having your own personal grinder. If you use pre-ground coffee, you will notice the older it becomes, the presence of that golden crema and rich flavor will become less and less. 
because at the end of the day, coffee is a food product and just like any other food product, it has a best before date. So keep that in mind. The coarseness level of your coffee will make a monumental difference to your extraction. Too coarse and your espresso will be watery and under extracted too fine and your shot will be extremely difficult to extract and if you manage to get anything through it will be over extracted and run the risk of being quite bitter to the taste. So for this reason you will have to do a little bit of experimentation with your beans and your grinder but once you've hit your sweet spot then you'll be good to go. Now through our own experimentation we have found that between 15 to 17 grams of a fine espresso grind is our sweet spot. So feel free to use this as your starting point, but you may have to tweak it as you go. Placing the funnel on top of our porter filter and then pouring our ground coffee straight in. Now we're gonna keep the funnel in place and we're gonna tap it on the bench to collapse the coffee. This just eliminates any large air pockets that may be underneath the coffee that can then cause an uneven extraction. But it also gives you a more level surface to be tamping. So using our baby tamp, we're gonna compress the grind down. Nothing too excessive. We don't wanna create a workout for ourselves later. Remember, we just want a level, clean looking tamping. After removing the funnel, we're gonna be placing our shower screen on top. Next, we're gonna dispose that pre-warming water. And then a neat little trick to help remove the piston is to use your measuring cup. Then place the brewing chamber on top of the porter filter and then put that entire setup in place. Thanks to the outer silicon grip, we are safe from the heat of the brewing chamber. Using our brewing water, we're now gonna fill to that laser etch line you see inside the chamber, which when we weigh it out is roughly 60 mils or 60 grams. If you have the added luxury of working with the pressure gauge, this is the time to pop it on top of your brewing chamber. As I mentioned earlier, ideally the stainless steel plunger part of the pressure gauge would have been preheated along with the brewing chamber. Then you want to affix the gauge and the stem by pressing down into the well and the stem should fit flush to the top of the plunger. If you're working without the gauge, just simply place the piston inside the top of the chamber until it's fully sealed. Now it's time to extract. So pulling down on a lever, we're aiming for a 35 to a 40 second extraction. And we are shooting for a reading of between six to nine bars of pressure if you're using that gauge. Now this should require about 18 kilos of your pushing down pressure. If you are struggling to push down, I'd recommend just stopping and starting again with a slightly coarser grind. Similarly, if you don't experience hardly any resistance and your coffee just gushes out, you may need to fine up your grind. So there it is, your golden delicious espresso. Now, the cleanup is simple. Best to just wait until that brewing chamber has fully cooled down so as not to burn yourself. So this gives you ample time to enjoy your creation. Now, if you're more than a single espresso drinking household, fear not, Flair have thought of that. They have purposely designed and marketed the Flair so that nearly every single element can be ordered separately, allowing you to add on an extra full brewing chamber, or maybe you could just order the porter filter or even just a shower screen. Totally depends on your budget, of course. This means that you can prep both your shots together and then you can extract them one after the other. Once it's cooled down, you can pull apart your brewing chamber and the coffee grinds, they are best disposed of in the garbage or in the garden, just not down your kitchen sink. Due to all of the touching parts being made purely of stainless steel, all that's needed to clean your flare is cold water. In fact, soap is not recommended as it can actually impact the taste of the coffee. And there's never any need to backflush or descale or any need to use expensive detergents in any kind of a cleaning cycle. The Flare Espresso Maker is elegantly designed, durably constructed, and most importantly, is empowering beginners and coffee veterans alike to enjoy delicious tasting espresso in their homes or on the go without having to break their budget. Now that's a wrap on the Flare Espresso Maker. If you do have any questions about any of the Flares or any of their accessories, feel free to send us a message on any of our platforms. Now that includes YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Or for even more information, just click the link in the description below and it will take you straight to our website, cremacoffeegarage.com.au. And there you will find the Flare Classic, the Signature and the Pro 2, and all of their individual parts and accessories. 
So make sure you share this video with all of your friends and family. Give it a like as well, because we love nothing more than spreading the word on new awesome ways to enjoy coffee. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and then that way you stay notified the second we release new awesome coffee content. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, happy brewing and cheese.